forward. Hello. So, hi. hi. I am Catherine Gladwin, and I am a business mentor and a number one best-selling author of a couple of books. Um, and I am joined today by one of my mentees, Kate Durrant. Uh, she's from Mariposa. Oh, I knew I'd do it wrong, Kate. Because I want to say Mariposa, because I've got a terrible way of <laughs> a terrible way of <laughs> pronouncing things. Because I'm from the Wiltshire area. Uh, but Kate pronounces it Mariposa. Okay? Yeah. So it's M-A-R-I-P-O-S-A. -S -S you pronounce it how you want. You'll still take the clients on, won't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. So it's what you like, yeah. yeah. It. So it's mariposaservices.com. And Kate is a bookkeeper, mm -hmm. but it's not how she always started. And we'll get to that in a bit. Um, but yeah, Kate is one of my mentees. Um, we've worked together, what do you think, 18 months? About that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. about 18 months. Um, it's been it's been a wicked journey it's just it, I've got a set we've all got a set criteria for an ideal client and Kate fits that mold and because Kate's an implementer but another thing I liked about Kate is that she just had a bit of a confidence issue as well and we we've, we've worked on that a lot and we'll get to that in a minute too this isn't going to be a long video so don't worry if you've just tuned in um, but yeah I want to share Kate's transformation with you um, and obviously it's not over yet um, but Kate, is there anything I've missed about you? Um, no, I don't think so. No, not so far. We'll cover it all. There's actually a lot. She's lying. <laughs> um, okay, so let's talk about the journey. Okay, say again. No, no, sorry, quite. No. Carry on. Let's start about the journey that we've been on uh, together. So you started out as my mentee. Where were you when we started working together? Um, so I started my business back in 2018. Uh, I, I gave up my full-time job in 2017 to go back to uni to do an MA in business and management because I was a bit stuck with where I was career-wise. And while I was doing my MA, I sort of toyed with the idea of working as a VA and started on that short journey and thinking, oh, you know, I learned a bit of extra cash while I'm at uni. Um, and then obviously started researching, looking around and seeing what was out there in terms of support and how it all worked. Um, so when I first started working with you, it was in the VA mentor group, um, which I think was the start of last year or just before. Who I knows? We've just, we're we're still that, in the yeah. pandemic at the moment. Nobody yeah. knows what day it is at, at, or anything. So. And I had, I think, maybe a couple of clients. I kind of just picked up a couple of clients, a referral and a friend of mine who asked me to do her social media. Um, so, and I was obviously thinking at that point, thinking, and I was sort of coming towards the end of my MA then, thinking, actually, I think I might want to do this full time. I, I enjoy this job. It's, it's what I'm good at. I've got the skills, and let's see where it goes. You know. So. So yeah. what? So it's the. I'm going to pick up on this, but it's the typical thing. You say one of your clients was a friend, and it's always the way, isn't it, that the first yeah. clients are people that we know because yeah. of that no like and trust. I, yeah. I know I always bang on, bang on about that in, in the mentoring, and I know I don't need to tell you, but it's so important that people get to know us, like us, and trust us before they want to invest. Yeah. Um, and that's why our first clients are often friends or family or somebody that's yeah. been in our circle for a while. So how much were you charging back then um, doing the VA work? Uh, so my first client was £18 an hour. Mm -hmm. and my second client who came just after that was £16 an hour. Then Six that went up. And then so you actually crazy. went down. Yeah, well, she she was she wanted someone to she had a business manager, an employee, and that person was leaving, so she wanted someone to take over, and she was paying that person I can't remember more less than sixteen. Of course, I was you know freelancing, you know, but oh, I'll start you on sixteen and we'll review it after a few months, which we did, and it went up to eighteen. And uh, so yeah, Brilliant. sixteen, eighteen pounds an hour. Yeah. So. You, how much do you think you were bringing in a month round about then? Do you know it doesn't matter if you don't remember? Um, it was no more than £400 a month. £400 pound. at that point. Yeah. yeah. So, at that time, you, were, you, you decided to transfer from continuing with... So, you completed your MA, mm -hmm. and obviously there were some ideas, perhaps, when you were doing your MA at what sort of job you might do, but you'd done this virtual assistant stuff to bring in a little bit of money while you were studying so that you could do your study around it and not have to worry about a full-time job and then when you completed your MA you thought you know what I'm going to carry on with it yeah and you positioned yourself as a virtual assistant didn't you and you were did, doing yeah. Yeah. social media and a bit of admin and then 
along came some bookkeeping, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. And also, out of nowhere, Kate throws at me, oh, I'm a, I'm a zero <laughs> accredited agent. Oh, I'm, I'm also a free agent accredited <laughs> partner. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. And I've worked in finance for well over 20 years. And uh, I once managed a, what was it, a £1.3 million pound budget. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> so Kate is positioning herself as a virtual assistant, which is fantastic. Virtual assistants, you know, they, they go on to create wonderful lives and wonderful incomes. But the change doesn't always happen until they start niching a service. Yeah. And it was so obvious that we needed to position you as a bookkeeper because it's not only what you enjoyed, it's what you were qualified to do. It's what you were made to do and it's what you excelled at. Yeah. Um, and I think this transition only happened a few weeks ago, didn't it? To yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I sort of started moving towards that, the bookkeeping side of things, because I'm one of those weirdos that really like the numbers and the, and the stuff that everyone else hates, you know, they go, oh God, I just can't deal with that stuff. I'm like, give it to me. I love it. It's yeah. Great. And uh, yeah, so I've, and I've always, as, as you said earlier, my background in admin finance has been for a really long time. And my last employed role was um, working, you know, managing a whole school budget of 1.3 million and reporting to governors and all that kind of stuff, you know, and, and monitoring the budgets and, um, and yeah, so I'd positioned myself as a VA and when I started out, it was like, oh, you know, VAs do sort of social media stuff, don't they? And general admin. And actually, it's not really my skill set. And I, it's not really what I enjoy doing. But yeah, it was right. You're right. You know, we'd had this conversation not very long ago about my sort of imposter syndrome about going, yeah, but, you know, am I really qualified to do this? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And we were, it was one of our group mentoring sessions, wasn't it, that we have on Zoom once a month. Um, and what I do is I go around the group and I, I let them just say what they are because the more, or what they do, because uh, the more people that know what you do, mm-hmm. people can refer you. And that's what we do in the, in the yeah, mentoring, isn't it? Yeah, you know, you've, yeah. you've actually got some of the other mentees are your clients as well yeah, now. I understand. Yeah, and I've had referrals and yeah, from yeah. Other, if we so, see yeah. a bookkeeping opportunity, it's like, right, that's Kate. Yeah, we need to put Kate yeah. in, Kate's yeah, name into that. Yeah. Um, and Kate introduced herself as a virtual assistant that does bookkeeping. And I thought, wait a minute, I'm just going to stop there because I think, well, I think that we should be positioning you as a bookkeeper. And, and it's scary. I know it's scary because you question yourself. And, uh, and I asked Kate why she wasn't positioning herself as a bookkeeper. She said, well, I've got no formal bookkeeping qualification. But she doesn't need one. You don't need a formal bookkeeping qualification to be a bookkeeper. What you need is to be registered with HMRC for anti-money laundering, which she is. Yeah. And in my opinion, you need to enjoy it. And you need to also be really passionate about your business because you are dealing with other business owners, important information, confidential yeah. information, and their livelihood. Because a bookkeeper doesn't just match invoices to to transactions a bookkeeper will say do you know what this microsoft 7.99 a month went out twice this Mm. month yeah yeah and things like that having kate on your team given she's managed a 1.3 million budget she's got an me in is it business and finance business management it's business management with an accounting and finance specialism yeah look at that see (laughs) um she's a zero partner she's a free agent partner and those things you have to do a little test for qualification for with them um you can't just phone them up and say i you know i've got 10 minutes fancy yeah. setting me up as a partner they've got to actually approve it so it made sense to position kate as a bookkeeper but we had to work on that imposter syndrome a little bit um but but kate went with it you went with it you positioned yourself as a bookkeeper um you're continuing to grow um and actually before i press record on this i was like how are you kate yeah, busy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Which is the best thing. Which is the best thing I can hear yeah. from one of my mentees. Busy, but not overwhelmed, I hope. No, no. As we were saying like before, it's like it's, I've had quite a few new clients come on board recently, which is great, but it's obviously, you know, setting things, setting up systems and processes and getting it all embedded. So, you know, yeah. and once, but once that's done and you, you know, you start working together, it, it all gets a bit more Absolutely. organized and calm. And it's what I always say in it, Kate, that as soon as you take on a new client, you've got to give yourself two weeks to adjust to that period of like, whoa, it's like having a mother-in-law move in for a fortnight, isn't it? And it's like, (laughs) oh, everything's turned upside down. (laughs) 
<laughs> right. So yeah. you are busy and I want to know now, I mean, you don't work on an hourly rate anymore, do you? Um, I do some work. I do do, a, I obviously, I focus on the bookkeeping and that's all based on packages. So I sell um, various different packages depending on the size of the business, how many transactions they have got going through the business each month. Um, I do my hourly rates for other sorts of work is, is £30 an hour now. £30 an hour. So that's gone up by at least £12 an hour, £14 an hour in some, yeah. in some areas. So you're now on £30 an hour. And your packages, your bookkeeping packages start from 70 a month, is that correct? Do, yeah. yeah. £70 a month. Um, and that's something else. I mean, we did, were you on my challenge for the how to create packages? No, I don't think so. I think that was before my time. But I think, I, I mean, I, there's obviously, you know, picked up stuff along the way in the group about how to create packages sort of yeah. Stuff, yeah yeah because <laughs> it's, so, yeah. it's, it's just so much easier for clients isn't it oh, by the way i do i've got a course that's how to create packages if anybody wants one so uh, <laughs> there was some sell in there um but it is so much easier for clients yeah. to to fall onto your website and think i know how much this is going to cost mm -hmm. for this whole service so it's yeah. much better when you're doing something mm -hmm. like bookkeeping or even social media management or something like that so that has happened in a relatively short space of time Mm -hmm. um, as well as what you were doing is you were also working was it full-time at the local pub um so I was doing quite a lot of hours when I when I finished my MA which was in January 2019 um and then I I'd been do, working at the pub and doing the VA stuff alongside and I carried on working at the pub and it was a nice little income it was probably about 25 to 30 hours a week so it was pretty full-time um <clears throat> and that was my obviously my 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 safe secure income which mm. was nice but you know i don't i don't really enjoy it i'm not very good at that sort of customer service really. i don't know why though kate's got an absolutely fantastic <laughs> sense of humor she's, oh, she's it was amazing what the part the customer what i got away with how i used to talk to customers was amazing because i was so cheeky and so sarky but they loved it yeah <laughs> Of course they do and then when they've had a drink they think you're just they think everybody's yeah. flirting with them don't they so it's yeah. great they, yeah. probably <laughs> not, they probably thought they were well in there can't can't differentiate um sarcasm no. then can they no. so i mean the, the the plan was to um get rid of that safety net wasn't it and yeah. just focus solely on your own business yeah um but as as often happens you know if we've got a safety net whether we can see that as any sort of employment or we've got a partner that provides an income enough for two of you um it it can be it can be scary to make that leap yeah. um but it 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 had been kate's dream if you like to drop that income to drop yeah. that pub work um almost from when we started working together and the pandemic almost kind of helped because mm. kate obviously couldn't go to work um because pubs and hospitality is shut so it did it did it help you to realize that even though it felt like a safety net it wasn't and it could be taken from you at any time yeah i just realized i had to make that decision and i, I think I'm, i made that decision at the start of last year and it didn't happen but then i said again i think around about autumn time last year that right that's it i'm definitely going to i'm definitely going to leave and i'm going to set myself a target and that's it because i knew that if i didn't i wouldn't I wouldn't make myself put everything into the business that I needed to in order to, to get to the place where I didn't have that, where that safety net wasn't necessary anymore. Yeah. Um, and so that, I set myself a target at the end of January this year. And Which, yeah. drum roll. We're done. Yay! And when did, you, when did you officially leave? When did you to be honest, I've been on furlough. So. <laughs> 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 but I'm, I'm never going back. No. So yeah, things have changed. Uh, there's some other circumstances have changed with the pub and stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. When it reopens, I won't be going back. So and you've replaced done. the income. I have more than replaced the income. Ah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Would you worked, look at that? I worked out recently that I've um, uh, where I was say last summer, um, including the income from the pub. I've actually gone well over that income monthly income now absolutely fantastic now if you were still charging 16 to 18 pound an hour it would have you could have replaced that income it doesn't it doesn't mean you couldn't have but you would be working almost double the amount of hours you are yeah. now yeah, because yeah. If, because 
well, it, it was just obvious. I don't need to do a because on that. It, it just, you would have been, but because you're charging what you're worth, 30 pound mm. an hour, although I think we need to discuss that. I think that could go up a little bit more. And because of your, <laughs> because of your, um, <laughs> go on. No, I said, of course it can go up. Yeah. <laughs> <you're always> saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because of your bookkeeping packages, you know, you, you can work a lot less if not half less hours than what you would have if you'd have continued charging 16 to 18 pound an hour now i've not um put this question to you prior so you just really don't need to answer it but do you feel comfortable saying what your monthly income is now it used to be 400 um, it's just over 2000 now just over 2000 a month that is absolutely it makes me i get this thing it's this new thing. I think it's my age. I've just not long term 44. When I get excited, I, I want to vomit. So I just. <laughs> so it's, and it sends a real shiver down me. So that I'm just, oh, I'm overwhelmed. I'm so, so I'm, I'm proud and I'm pleased and I'm excited for your future. So do you know how many hours a month you're working or how many hours a week you're working on average? I, uh, I, I, the, I, with a new client I took on last week, um, I think it's around about 40 hours a month. 40 hours. It might a be month. a little bit more. It's around about 40 hours a month. And obviously, because my plan was obviously to have work a certain amount of hours a week actually on client work and then obviously put time aside to build my business and carry on building my business and hopefully have a team. This is what I, this was my next question. So, next, are we going to sort look at building a team? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, this is what I do with people as well. It's, it, I can go from start to, you know, to, to, to where you really want to go yeah. and building a team is something else that I excel at. I've helped, um, Kelly Simpson build a team, uh, trying to think of names off the top of my head and I can't Meg Smalls just starting to build a team. Kelly Kemp, um, Carol will be building her team very shortly. I can go on and on and on. Um, and building a team enables you to have a semi-passive income and a recurring income as well. And it just creates that safety net because you, so what, for anybody that doesn't know, when Kate takes on a team, what she'll do is she'll pay that team member less than what she charges the client. And that's completely ethically correct because Kate has to earn some money from it because people are coming to work with her because of her reputation. She then outsources it to an associate of some kind that's carefully selected by her. The associate does the work, which means Kate is hands off, but Kate still gets the income, a little bit of income from it. But the best thing is that there's still money coming in should anything happen to Kate. Mm -hmm. So should Kate have to take time out for surgery or want to go and travel for six months or something like that, Kate has still got that money coming in. Mm -hmm. And then equally, if Kate was to lose any clients, she can take the clients back from the associates and do the work herself and get the full amount as opposed to the, the small amount she gets by outsourcing it. So by building a team, it just really makes your business secure and gives it longevity. You will, you will never feel sick or wake up at four o'clock in the morning if you lose a client because you think, shit, I've got to replace them now. Um, so it, that is very, very exciting. The first thing usually to outsource is your cleaning at home is oh, my gosh. recommendation. Yeah. Yeah. It's absolutely that. Yeah, oh worry. my God. Well, we had to sadly let our cleaner go, um, at the beginning of the pandemic cause I had to shield Yeah. and, oh, it's the first thing I want to let back because we, we have to do it. Me and Anthony. Yeah. Um, and to be honest, the house is disgusting. <laughs> absolutely yeah. disgusting. And we kind of have to say, like, oh, sh should we should we clean on Saturday? Oh, yeah. yeah, I know. I, and I was being I'm, I'm digressing now, like I always do, Kate, but I was yeah. being good and I was doing the bathroom every week. But it, yeah. that's now reduced to just doing the toilet. Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you can't see out the shower at all. No. Who needs to be out the shower? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we've sold the house anyway, so they've exactly. seen it clean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. I don't care. They can't put a review on TripAdvisor when they move no. in that it was dirty. So, yeah. anyway, Kate. So, next for you is a team. Just mm -hmm. looking at my questions here, not playing Angry Birds. Um, so, the transformation from Kate is basically um, 
bringing in, I'm going to go with the £16 an hour. It sounds more dramatic than the £18 an hour. (laughs) So earning £16 an hour, bringing in about £400 a month. Also working a full-time job, 25 to 30 hours a week in my my, um, world is is a full-time job. A pub as a safety net. Now, Kate is um, commanding and getting £30 an hour. Um, she is charging and getting £70 minimum for her bookkeeping packages a month. Um, her last month was £2,000 brought in. Uh, working about 40 hours a month in her business, that's 10 hours a week. That's nothing, Kate, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she's got rid of the full-time job that she didn't want to keep on. She has managed to replace that. It's, it, it's phenomenal absolutely phenomenal and you're going to continue to grow um kate difficult question what's the biggest thing you've taken away from working with me so far and be nice <laughs> um oh God, there's so many things like and there's so many little things like i remember you saying about uh about putting your prices up and, and you and you say it to someone and, you, and then you just wait and you go i charge 30 pounds an hour and there have been so many times when I've wanted to go, well, it's all right because I'll give you a discount. And I don't. <laughs> no, that's what I charge. That's what I charge. You know, and uh, other things like, say, my, first, my last sort of four clients have probably come from me commenting on requests for bookkeepers or VAs in groups I'm in on Facebook. And it's little things like you always said, like, you must follow up with a PM or don't just go, yeah, I can help. You know, give them your details. Tell them where your website is follow it up with a personal message you know a private message and tell them what you can do for them and it's just like this you know things like the masterminds that we have and you know information that I could go and google but it would take me ages to find it and it's you know even just half an hour someone saying this is how you do your SEO this is how you write content this is you know this is how you write evergreen content this is how you schedule your posts you know it's just so much great content that it would have taken me so much time to go away and research and learn and you know and it's just there and I think yeah and also you're sort of straight talking <laughs> like <laughs> obviously which you're famous for you know there's no it's really supportive but there's no beating around the bush either yeah like, I've got you your back I've got I've got everybody's yeah. back yeah. everybody's back but at the same time I work best with people that implement and yeah. and that's what you do yeah and it's yeah and it's just that sort of like you know it's always giving us a kick up the bum but not not in a horrible way but just like well don't make you know don't make excuses just go on and do it yeah you, know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are yeah. quite nice sometimes <laughs> sometimes um yeah yeah I try I try not to be patronizing because it always comes um it always comes from experience with me I always you know I give advice based on experience it's never like Jesus Kate or whoever what the hell are you doing? Completely yeah. messing up in life, completely doing this wrong. <laughs> doing that wrong. Yeah. It's not like that. It's like, do you know what? This could be better because I've been there or one of my mentees has been there and we've seen a transformation yeah. when you do this. And it, but yeah, I, I like the one as well. It, it's a real turning moment for people. What Kate said a moment ago, when, when you tell somebody how much you charge, it's just to pause. And in those 13 seconds or less, the other person will speak just let them speak because otherwise you've got a tendency to say oh it's it's 30 pound an hour but i can do it for 20 if you want yeah. And, yeah. and then all of a sudden you just want yeah. to take yourself outside and just scream as loud as you yeah. can uh for doing that but if you just pause and let them speak they just go with it they just mm. give you an answer yeah absolutely yeah <sighs> so kate let's do it again where can people find out more about you uh so it's www mariposaservices.com mariposa mariposa (laughs) Uh, uh, i'm also on linkedin and on facebook uh i've got mariposa her name's kate durrant kate durrant forgotten well mariposa (laughs) vbs i think i am (laughs) really good advertising isn't it (laughs) (laughs) if if they go to your website there's probably some links is there to there are there are links there to linkedin and facebook brilliant i was uh, worried you were going to say no then and I was going to try, no, no, I was going to try and control my face. <laughs> and there's a direct link to booking a call if you need anything. Yes. So you yeah. can book a call and have a chat with Kate as yeah, well if you yeah. want. It doesn't have to be about business. Just, just yeah. chat about. 
<laughs> she'll soon tell you where to go if you're not talking about business um right so if people want to find out more about me you can go to katherinegladwin.co.uk um i do encourage you to connect with kate and if you see anybody that needs a bookkeeper then kate is the only one to connect them with absolutely so um and if anybody wants to find out about my how to create packages course just send me a dm wherever you're watching this um and then i can let you see that i think it's 29 pound or some some ridiculous price like that disgusting i just don't charge enough kate anybody know no, a good mentor just put your prices up yeah <laughs> <laughs> thanks kate i'll see you soon awesome.